Hello and welcome back to this new episode of our course and in today's video we'll be talking about creating a child theme. So PrestaShop 1.7 relies a lot on template inheritance in order to create the most consistent theme possible while heavily reducing the amount of duplicated code. So that's why in this version we came up with a new feature called child theme. This feature is only useful if you want to slightly modify a theme and for example to add a single block to a certain template or something like that. If you want or if you need to modify the markup more deeply and go really an advanced modification then the child theme is not the solution. So let's talk about the principle. So far, we talked about extending a template in the previous episode of this course within the same theme. In the PrestaShop 1.7, you can also extend template from another theme. So let's see how to create a child theme first. Now to create a child theme, the process is very, very simple. So the very first thing is to locate yourself somewhere under the themes folder of your shop for sure. And right there, let's go ahead and mcader my for example, child theme and pay attention to don't put any space into the name of the folder. So you could do it for sure using the command line or simply by going to uh, click and new folder, etc. And right here inside this my child. So let me just ac access it. So my child theme and there there I will create another folder so called config so it will be containing the configuration of this theme you get the point and inside this config i'll be having another file that will be called it guess it it will be theme.yaml so right here i will do touch theme.yaml okay let's go ahead and open this theme.yaml let's see what kind of parameters would be defining inside it that it could be detected by the PrestaShop core. So this is my child theme folder. This is the config folder. Don't get fooled by the way VS Code present this folder. So it's folder under another folder and we have the theme.yaml and let's see what kind of parameter as I said to define. So the very first parameter, the important one is to say this is a child theme by defining a parent and the parent of our theme will be classic and right here pay attention to the value you are typing there. So in our example, it's pretty simple. So it is classic, not complicated, but let's suppose that we have uh, like a theme called a classic, classic theme, uh, blah, blah, blah. So pay attention to the key you copy. So let me just explain. Inside your theme, the parent theme config theme.yaml, make sure that you copy the technical name value not the display name so this is the technical name classic because it's unique and it does identify the theme folder name configuration etc so copy this not this now let's move back so right here i will be setting to classic after that i will be defining the technical name for this child theme so it might in my case it will be exactly the same folder name and pay attention to this this is really important elsewhere you'll be running into trouble after this i'll be defining a display name free to call it whatever you want then i'll be defining the version so the version for me will be 1.0 for example 1.0 and i'll be defining a very important uh, parameter which is assets so assets it took an object of values so the very first one and i believe it's really important and it's it's really important it's already important which is use parent assets so as the name explain we will be telling prestashop core whether to use assets from the parent or not assets mean javascript and css files so here i'll be saying true meaning okay go ahead and use assets from the parent okay all set for now now we could move back to the admin panel and do activate this my child theme so we do see that we have my custom theme we have starter and we have we have also sorry my child theme so if i go ahead and use this theme it, yes it does say that everything went well successfully updated now let's move back to the front page we did run into a problem which is a problem with permission of the folder so right here failure to create the root of my folder then my 
child theme assets cache so we need to accord a writing permission to this assets cache so I opened the folder of my child theme in the terminal and I would like to do an LL for listing or oh sorry for listing the existing file so I do see that we don't have this assets folder as it's mentioned right there meaning that we need to create it probably manually or the best thing is to change the permission of this my child my child uh my child theme into a write read so i will simply sudo change mod to 777 recursively to my child themes so everything is okay now if i do refresh then the error is gone and the active theme is my child theme